the field of kidney cancer, there's a lot of trials combining VEGF agents and immuno-oncology agents. That's um, one of the main um, facets of kidney cancer research now. So VEGF agents are the standard of care. Immuno-oncology agents obviously are coming in and taking over a lot of cancers, including RCC. So the rationale for the combination is a fewfold. One is that each drug by itself is probably active. VEGF agents like axitinib and checkpoint inhibitors like pembrolizumab are each active as monotherapy. There's also some biologic rationale that VEGF inhibition may favorably um, alter the immunomodulatory environment, so basically allow immuno-oncology drugs to work better. Preclinical, you know, mouse model data, but, but fairly compelling actually, and that's, that data's been around for a long time. Um, and so there was a trial of 52 previously untreated RCC patients who got axitinib oral VEGF inhibitor and pembrolizumab. This was reported by Mike Atkins, uh, I think last fall. Um, and the results are really, they're really the best results that have ever been seen in kidney cancer, honestly. The response rate was 71%, which is about 30% higher than has ever been reported for anything. Axi by itself, axitinib by itself, um, would probably be in the 30 to 40% range. Pembro by itself has not really been tested in kidney cancer, but if it's like nivolumab, it'd probably be 20%. So it's at least additive, if not more. Um, not a huge study, 52 patients, but not small either. You know, so re reasonable size, phase one, two study.